Hi everyone, today I'd like to show you how to simulate an Xbox 360 controller by using uh, another controller such as the PlayStation 2 or 3 controller, 4 also In my case I'm using a Logitech Dual Action this one here which is a super cheap controller you can find on eBay just for less than 5 bucks I pay like 2 euros so it's really cheap, it's working, you know no big deal and you can actually simulate uh, Xbox 360 by using this one I'm going to show you right now so why I'm doing this I'm going to show you I'm going to launch a game which is called Steam World Dig and uh, as you can hear I'm moving the analog pad and pressing buttons and the controller it's not recognized so it's not working that's the problem but luckily, so luckily, thanks to this software called Xbox DRV, we can simulate, as I said, the Xbox 360 controller. All right. First of all, you need to install the package on the Arch on Arch Linux. You can find it on the R, okay, Arch User Repository or any other distro you can just install it from github all right and then you have to map basically the buttons axis and everything of your uh, controller simulating the xbox controller now you should go to the wiki arch linux by the way i'll leave all these uh, web pages all the links in the description as usual and in my case the mapping was already there, as you can see here, Logitech Dual Action. So I, I just copied and pasted all these um, settings here, all this option here, into a file. I'm going to show you. I'm going to cancel this, going to show you later. I can cat the Xbox Dual Action script okay and as you can see here i have my let's say native the native uh, logitech dual action buttons axis and everything and then i have them equal uh xbox 360 button for example x y a b back start uh, the analog pads etc how you do that you need to install another software which is called ftest Okay, actually, in my case, I didn't need that because everything was already mapped. But you can actually change, you know, modify everything. You can just, for example, uh, the start button as uh, the A button. Okay, you can just modify everything as you wish. Anyway, you launch the if test and then all your devices will appear here. If you have more than one joystick okay or more one thing that you can test mine is the event 2 also as showed here so i can just press 2 and then i can press the controller button as you can see right now i'm pressing the button number 2 okay which will be the a where it is here so button thumb equal a and as you can see here there is button thumb just pressing the two button say but button thumb then I have another one trigger so you have to do this if you can't find a uh, already mapped script you have to do this so just press your buttons move your axes and then uh, map everything as is shown here you actually need the silent here it's better because then you if you're running like me a script let's say on demand it won't uh, print all the debug of what you're pressing what you're moving in the terminal as I say I'm running this on demand let's say uh, I mean that normally I use my controller as a, as it is as a native logic that dual action but when I need it I just run the script which is Xbox dual action and then as this as it says my Xbox 360 controller it's available right now as event 22 
Okay, actually I can close here and if I rerun even EV test, okay, as you can see here, I have not just the Logitech, but I have also the Microsoft Xbox 360 pad. Now, there is a bug. It's listed. Let's see if I can find it. Whoop. Slow. There is a 60 second delay or something like that. So if it's not even running, okay, when you run the your script or whatever, you just wait a little bit. Then you will you will be able to to try out your controller. For example, now I'm pressing the button, but there is this delay, so it just takes a little bit. Yeah, there it is. As you can see now, I'm pressing, and the buttons have, are different. Okay, they appear different. B BTN South. There wasn't this button, it was another one. I'm just pressing the two button, number two. All right, so I can try right now Steam Dig Word. Steam Word Dig, actually. <laughs> and as you can hear, I'm moving the analog pad. I'm pressing the button to start and I, I'm able to, to run the game. The controller is the same, but right now it's being recognized as an Xbox 360 controller. Let me quit. Okay, perfect. So, you can actually uh, set up a service so that uh, by default your controller will always be recognized on a as in a US as a Xbox 360 controller gamepad okay you can do that by adding so enabling on system control enable the Xbox DRV there it is service so just system CTL enable Xbox DRV service but you also need to configure your controller so you need to map and everything, but you have to, to put all this uh, configuration in another file. There are actually a lot of examples in the GitHub page and also in your, uh, in your computer. There is the default here. You can just check how it is. So here you have everything ex explained. And then you have to actually put all this information on the ATC default Xbox DRV. Okay, that's the default. And if you need some other controller, you can just add next controller true to add how many controllers as you wish to be um, to simulate some other Xbox City controllers. All right. As I say, the example is also in your user shared doc Xbox DRV examples. So you don't need to, to go to the GTAB, you just have them on your computer. That's it. All the informations and all the configuration and everything, as I say, examples, all there is also the man page. You can actually check on the official website here. And as you can see here, there is a, this huge list, everything is explained. There is really everything you need to know, it's here. Huge, huge list. Thumbs up for being so, so great and uh, give us this huge verbose list, let's say. Everything it's written there. All right, I'll leave everything in the description as usual, all links and everything. And hope it was helpful and see you in the next time, guys. Bye-bye.